Oh, well, let's see. Man, it took a long flipping time to do all the paperwork, but I think I got it all done. Um, so I think the 07 October turn is over. We're now like off to 01 November and uh, that's going to be nice, man. Um, I'll show you what uh, demoralization points wise. Uh, the Germans took, I think, 12. The Russians took 18. What I found weird was when I was looking at it, um, when the 10th Army surrendered, the HQ only takes 10 demoralization points. They don't seem to, unless I got it wrong, but they don't seem to be taking any extra demoralization points because they surrendered. I thought that was a bit weird because cavalry and infantry do. And all that other stuff. And it's per strength point, man. So, like, I don't understand. Uh, it's just weird. Um, so here it is. What we got right now. So still a long way to go. So I don't know what's going to happen. Um, there was a little bit of recombination that I uh, took a look at. Um, I missed the 4th Army could have. Hold on, i got to switch hands. There's no, I can't use the... Uh, the forceps with my right hand it would be very awkward for me. Um, these guys, I could have done something and I just didn't see it, darn it. But these guys did re uh, recombine one division, so they're good. And then I think if you remember, these guys were the 36th Reserve Infantry Division. There's only uh, the Reserve Jaeger uh, Battalion number two, I think. Um, I left them at there as a one five. They they're going to be brought. They have been brought up back up to a five five. They're now the thirty fifth reserve ersatz division, and they'll be broken down, and we just start on all over again. Um, so that's that. I'll take you, I'll show you a little bit about the Russians. Um, yeah, I find you know what I find the Russians kind of somewhat in a weird way easy to play. At this time of, well, I, I don't think I've played them any, any other time of the war, except a, a tiny, 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 tiny bit with Ken there, uh, with the, the Golitsa Tarnuf, uh breakthrough. Um, because, you yeah, know, it's just very, you know, here, okay. So right now I'm finding it relatively easy. I'm going to tell you what I can see so far. Okay, they're only going to get 10 supply points this month. That's it. Um, and it's going to be broken up into two five supply point parcels in two different locations on the 1st of November. These guys have got 10 supply points that they freed up and they're about to like crush a couple of German divisions, one cavalry and one infantry. I've got no worries about them on a grand level. On a micro level, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of things going, you know, they're not happy. A lot of people not happy. On a, like I'm saying, from this level, they're happy. Um, so I'm not sending any of those 10 supply points that way, even if there's, I think there is some uh, coming over there at 3401, I do believe. Um, I can see that the Germans have been leaving Warsaw. They're stripping their forces away. So why in the world? I can't, yeah, I should. Move my, I gotta get rid of the forceps. Sorry, guys. Or you're probably happy about it. Um, so I'm not going to uh, do much. Uh, they've got a fair amount of strength points. So I haven't put them down yet, but um, I'm okay with that. This kind of scares me. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Um, so I have to figure out how I'm going to um, retreat properly. I'm not going towards Wuj or any of that. Give me a break at that. that from what I've seen historically, this is territory that the Russians considered a giant buffer. Um, now, strategic, and they've got four strength point, uh, supply points, the fourth army there, uh, Ruski over there. Uh, no, sorry, Salsa. Jesus, Murphy. Um, yeah, Ruski is over here, I do believe. Um, anyway, so I'm going to send five towards the fifth army here. And the ninth armies, I don't, you know, we'll figure out, but this is where I want to hammer home. It's been on, I've been talking about this for turns. If you look at uh, some of my previous posts, that severing that line would help. 
many turns ago. Well, now it's even more important. And I think uh, we're just, so all the focus, all the concentration is going to be on Lemberg for this month. Everybody else, like, like I said, I'm not worried on a grand strategic level. I'm not worried about those guys. Germans don't seem to be doing anything there. Um, we'll talk about the micro stuff later, whatever. Um, like I said, I'm a bit, I don't know what the hell to do with that. We'll figure it out. Um, this is where all the supply points and all the, everything is going to be hammered towards that area. We will take Lemberg. Now look at it from the strategic point of view. At least I am. Um, who gives an F if we lose all that territory there? I can guarantee you Austria is going to shit their pants when they lose Lemberg and so on and so forth. And off we go to the races with our, you know, like, come on, man. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to talk, I'm going to do a little chit chat about um, the live stream. It got me thinking, well, it's because, um, remember, I'm also like preparing to do the Caporetto game uh, scenario. And I've been reading this amazing book. Please, please, please. I know math uh, and games was, um, excuse me, mentioning uh, they were interested in, uh, you know, um, us talking about um, Caporetto in a, in a live stream. And, um, well, lucky for them, uh, we're doing a scenario, um, you know, completely devoted to that, as well as this book. I, I can't. I can't express to you how many times I've reminded, had to remind myself that um, I wasn't reading a history book. I'm serious. Uh, it, it's the narrative is so good. Um, like, like it's gripping. Um, anyways, it's uh, right now. I'm uh, um, the th yeah. I just finished reading the third um, Battle of the Asanzo which right now I find, find far more compelling than Caporetto and so on and so forth. And I, you know, ran upstairs to look at the Der Weltkrieg um, scenario listings for the Italian front. No, it's not in there. I'm like, darn it. So now I'm wondering if there's other games that have it. If they don't, oh my goodness, it's really interesting. Um, I just found it that um, how close the Italians came to like, Oh, it's just, uh, it seems to have come down to um, this late reserve that showed up that was part of like some elite unit that Bereyevich brought in and it just saved, they took a pounding. I think it was like out of, uh, I think three quarters of them uh, didn't make it out alive. Like that's, you know, oh, Jesus Christ. So awesome book. So, ridiculously easy read. Look at it. Look at the text on this, man. Anyways, I will talk about this later when we get into uh, whatever. So uh, the next section what I want to talk about, I guess, with the live stream stuff is, um, like I said, I want to do like a little bit of the map stuff. But what I would like to start doing, because um, I was going to do like a complete separate youtube -y video or whatever of websites that I like to go to and show you guys um, the resources that I use. I was like, hey, wait a minute. While um, maybe I'll do it at the very beginning, maybe a first 10 or 15 minutes, um, I'll pop on a website and we'll peruse it and I'll show you why I like it. And I think the first one I'm going to do is, um, and I'm going to, I think I paid $30 or maybe a little less Canadian. I don't know if it's the, the promo is still around. Um, I, and I have access to so many podcasts from real time history that is like massively in depth. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you guys. And uh, yeah, that type of stuff is uh, what I would like to do. And then we can, you know, go off and start you know, yet again, like trying to, you know, evolve and change or, you know, morph, adapt the, the Saturday live stream to our um, needs for this in World War One is what I would like to do. Okay. Hope you're having a great Sunday.
or Monday if you're in a, another part of the planet. 